think mine is broken, huh? Well, I gotta get the broken. <laughs> Infinite life and power. Man possesses, did he but know it, illimitable power. This power is of the spirit, therefore, it is unconquerable. It is not the power of the ordinary life, or finite will, or human mind. It transcends these, because, being spiritual, it is of a higher order than either physical or even mental. This power lies dormant and is hidden within man until he is sufficiently evolved and unfolded to be entrusted with its use. Thought is a spiritual power of tremendous potency, but this is not the power of which we speak. By thought, man can either raise himself up and connect himself with the powerhouse of the universe, or cut himself off entirely from the divine inflow. His thought is his greatest weapon because, by it, he can either draw on the infinite or sever himself in consciousness, but not in reality, from his divine source. Through the divine spark within him, which is really his real self, man is connected with the infinite. Divine life and power are his if he realizes that they are his. So long as he is ignorant of his oneness with the divine source of all life, he is incapable of appropriating the power that is really his. If, however, he enters into this inner knowledge, he finds himself the possessor of infinite power and unlimited resources. <laughs>